Who to believe? The Kremlin is adamant. Vladimir Putin did not agree to anything during his face-to-face -face meeting with the French President Emmanuel Macron. But the French leader claims Vladimir Putin personally assured him that Russia would not escalate the crisis in Ukraine. The Kremlin undercutting Macron as he continues to play the role of peacemaker. Today, Macron was in Kyiv for a meeting with the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky. Macron warned a diplomatic solution could take months. Meanwhile, Russia continues to deny it has any plans to invade Ukraine, despite the fact that it has 140,000 troops, plus tanks, missile systems, fighter jets, bombers and artillery massed along the country's border. This is new video of Russian amphibious landing warships deploying to the Black Sea, not far from the shores of Ukraine. They're capable of carrying thousands of ground troops. Russia claims they're there for naval drills. Defense analysts have been warning that Ukraine's military is frankly no match for the Russian war machine. They're outgunned, outmanned, and outequipped. But they are not going down without a fight. NBC's Matt Bradley touring a factory in eastern Ukraine where they're restoring old Soviet-era tanks. Yeah, that's right. Outgunned, outmanned, but not for lack of trying. The Ukrainian military has actually improved quite a bit since the last time the Russians invaded back in 2014. But still, without air power, without naval power, the Russians probably will be able to make a meal out of the Ukrainian military, maybe even before they step foot into Ukrainian territory again for the second time in eight years. But, you know, I went to this tank factory today. It was not really a tank factory. It was more like a place, a factory where they were updating old Soviet-era tanks, which there are quite a few here, into modern, really quite technically advanced equipment. And we spoke with the director there, and he said that, you know, these tanks that they're producing, that they're updating, are just about as good as anything they would confront on an open battlefield against the Russians. But open battlefield again with the superior air power and naval power of the russians uh, a lot of the defense analysts and actually former defense officials that i spoke to said the main strategy here is going to be an insurgency against an occupying force that is going to be the modus operandi if the russians do decide to invade Shep. matt bradley in ukraine shepherd smith here thanks for watching cnbc on youtube